Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you three different vegan pasta salads that are downright delicious. That was really cheesy, but you know, I feel like pasta salad kind of gets a bad rep or maybe there are more varieties of it that we could open ourselves to. Instead of sticking to that, you know, traditional picnic pasta salad where it's dressed in like a kind of oily, kind of okay seasoning. No, I mean, some pasta salads are good, but I decided to challenge myself and get a little bit more creative here and do some fusion flavor twists to make our pasta salad a little bit more interesting or just amp up the flavors and take that texture level to the next level. I think that made sense. Uh, if you like pasta salad, it's a great excuse to say you're eating a salad, but not actually having leafy greens in it and still eating pasta, which is like, ideal. Uh, so if you're interested, stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to make them right now. First up, we're going to be making a buffalo cauliflower pasta salad, combining our favorite vegan alternative to buffalo wings with a pasta salad. So I thought that was fun. You're going to start out by dicing half of a head of cauliflower into small florets. And then here I'm topping it with some vegan buffalo wing sauce and some garlic powder. We're just keeping it super simple. Just going to quickly mix it together with a spatula until all of the pieces are lightly and evenly coated. Then we're going to transfer this to a lined baking tray and just toss the pan around, or you can use a spatula just to make sure the pieces are spread out pretty evenly. So we're gonna pop that in the oven and in the meantime, we're going to cook some pasta on the stove. I think you guys know how to cook pasta, so you know. Then we're going to make the dressing for our pasta salad by combining more buffalo wing sauce with tahini. It may sound strange, but I promise it's delicious. If you're not a fan, you can use coconut yogurt or sour cream as well. We're also adding a little bit of garlic powder and some water uh, to help thin it out. And then we're just going to whisk all of this together until the tahini emulsifies into the water and hot sauce and we get this thick, creamy, delectable dressing. You can also prep all of your other veggies in the meantime and then once the cauliflower is done roasting it should look a little something like this. We're looking for those nice crispy edges to add more depth of flavor to our pasta salad. So now it is time to assemble. Once your pasta is cooked you're going to rinse it with cold water until it comes to room temperature then add it to a bowl along with our roasted cauliflower, a can of chickpeas, some sliced celery, grated carrot, green onions, and then here I'm adding some fresh dill, but you could also use another fresh herb like parsley or cilantro or leave it out if fresh herbs aren't your thing. Then of course, we're going to top it with our creamy tahini buffalo dressing. And then all that's left to do now is just toss everything together until it is evenly coated in our dressing and all of the ingredients are evenly distributed throughout the bowl. So it should look a little something like this once you're done mixing. And then from here, you know, clean up your bowl a little. Mine looks kind of messy. And then to plate it and serve it as desired. I love this pasta salad. I feel like it's a really unique combination of flavors. And I love how the celery and carrot are still nice and crunchy. Then you get the heartiness from the chickpea in the pasta. And then the spicy tanginess from the dressing helps to cut through more of the heartiness to make it a well-rounded and refreshing meal. Up next, we're going to be making a taco pasta salad. This is definitely more Tex-Mex inspired and no way is a traditional Mexican food. Just want to clear that up. And like always with the pasta salad, we're going to cook our pasta. I'm using shells because I thought it was fun because they look like mini tacos, uh, but you can use any shape you want. And then while that's cooking, we're actually going to sear our corn. So here I'm just using frozen corn, but you can use fresh corn as well. I'm putting it in a nonstick skillet over medium high heat. And I didn't add any liquid, any water, any oil, anything to the pan I'm just mixing it around with my spatula and sort of searing it dry searing it I suppose as you can see we're starting to get more brown buildup on the bottom of the pan and we're just going to continue to do this for as long as possible until we get these nice char marks on our corn it should take about seven to ten minutes at this point you can deglaze the pan with a small amount of water and then you're going to stir everything with a spatula it's gonna scrape the brown bits off the bottom of the pan and put them on the corn so this makes our corn have a little bit more of a smoky flavor and maybe less of a sweet flavor as well. I really think it makes a difference and would highly recommend it for this pasta salad. So now we're just going to assemble our pasta salad. We're going to start with the dressing. Here I'm using my homemade vegan mayo. You can also use store-bought. Then I'm adding some lime juice and some chili powder blend and some salt. So then you're just going to whisk everything together until it's evenly incorporated. It'll look a little thick, but that's okay. Then we're going to add in our drained and cold pasta, just like last time. And this time we're going to be adding some black beans, our seared corn, some sliced tomatoes, 
some vegan cheddar cheese. This is technically optional, but I do think it adds to the flavor a lot. We're also going to add some finely diced red onion and some finely chopped cilantro stems because they taste like the leaves, but they're not gonna get wilty once we mix everything together. So now again, we're just going to stir, stir, stir until everything is evenly distributed. Everything's nice and coated and there's no more sort of a pool of dressing on the bottom of the bowl. So it should look a little bit something like this and it looks good, but you know, I think it could look a little bit more fresh. I think you guys probably agree with me, but don't worry, we're going to spruce it up. So I recommend adding these final toppings right at the end. So when you're ready to serve, put it on a bowl, and then we're going to deck it out with some fresh cilantro leaves, as well as some chunks of ripe avocado. So these pops of green are going to make the salad feel and look nice and fresh, and I mean, they just take the flavor profile to the next level as well. So that's it for this recipe. It legitimately tastes like a Tex-Mex taco. The dressing makes it, and I love all of the add-ins, which are things that I would traditionally put in tacos if I was making them at home. So hope you guys try this one out. And finally, we're going to make a Mediterranean inspired pasta salad. This recipe is sort of a hodgepodge of a variety of Mediterranean ingredients that I love. So I hope you guys love it too. Again, we're gonna start out by cooking our pasta. Then in the meantime, we're going to make our dressing by adding some lemon juice, a little bit of olive oil, and some Dijon mustard to a bowl, along with a finely diced garlic clove and some Italian seasoning. We're also gonna add some salt, and then we're going to whisk that together. The lemon juice is gonna mellow out the raw garlic a little bit, and we're also going to add some tofu. So instead of using vegan feta cheese, I'm just using a super firm tofu here for a similar but not identical consistency. Uh, but we're gonna let the tofu sit in this marinade to really absorb those flavors. You can even let this sit overnight if you want to make it ahead of time. We're just gonna let it sit for about 30 minutes a day, which is also great. And now it's time to assemble. So we're gonna add our pasta to a bowl, along with some quartered artichoke hearts, some sliced Persian cucumbers, and our marinated tofu. And don't forget to include all of the dressings. That's gonna be the dressing for our pasta salad as well. I'm also adding in some Kalamata olives and some sun-dried tomatoes here. And then again, we're going to mix everything up. So one of the great things about vegan food is when you marinate something, you can repurpose the marinade into the actual dressing. Unlike if you were cooking with chicken, you have to discard it and be super careful about it. So that worked to our advantage here. And then now once the pasta salad is assembled, here I'm just topping it with some fresh basil and some fresh oregano leaves, because again, I think it makes it look a little bit more fresh and fun. And then I'm also topping it with some freshly cracked black pepper. And that is it for this recipe. It is really yummy and satisfying. I feel like it's more of a traditional pasta salad, but these are all my favorite ingredients combined into one, and I feel like it's a good combination of textures as well. All right, guys, tell me in the comments below which one of these recipes was your favorite. I feel like they all have different applications in terms of what I'm craving. So, you know, some days I might crave one more than the other. So maybe that's an unfair question, but... Oh well, I'm gonna ask you anyways. Let me know in the comments below. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel and you like what you see here, feel free to click that little button down below. I post one to two new videos every single week. And if you have any video requests, let me know in the comments below. Also, as always, all of these recipes are going to be linked in the description below. Keep saying below. But you know, if you wanna save the photos for later on your Pinterest boards or reference recipes, all of the amounts are listed there in US measurements and grams. Cause I got you if you don't live in the United States. So that's it for me. I hope you guys are having an awesome day and continue to have one. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.